Today we are making a pattern leather loafers or a cloth material loafers on a cup so stay tuned yo what's up my people welcome to this channel this is b footage as you can see what we do on this channel this is the platform where we show you how to make shoes so that you yourself you can try something out on your own if you are just waiting for the first time please do well to like subscribe and turn on the post notification don't forget to share as well okay so let's get on to business As we all know, the first step of, a, of in, in shoemaking, whereby you place a pattern or your material or your leather and you draw it out. Same thing is being done to this as well. Uh, uh, so here we have our, our material, our pattern leather. We have it already. It's being cut out already, and we have the cap also. The cap is ready as well. Then we move to the next stage, which is which is taping aspect as you can see as the design implies sneeze taping and there is a reason why we tape shoes so that it won't uh it, it won't open that it's uh, it won't be the opening mouth when when working it so that's why we tape unless the design requires it that you don't tape and if you don't tape you have to show the area the the area in which you are supposed to, to to tape if it doesn't have a a, a normal taping it's a, which is the in, in, inner taping it will have what we call the outside taping and I, 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 I there there is a video on how outside taping is being done i have the video already in my channel you can on on, on this platform you can go back to to see what i mean by outside taping so this one is not taping as, as we, we all can see so we show then after showing move to the next to the next step which is the the folding aspect whereby we fold our uh, our um, taping we fold it alongside with the shoe then we, we also move on to the to the next step of the shoe and yeah lest i forget i have a telegram channel whereby i post shoes i post details and i post some other stuff and you know some sort of motiv mo motivational quotes as well because i'm more of a motiv uh, motivational not a speaker anyways but question so so i have a telegram channel the link is below it's below the the video you can click on it to join and i also if i have a distress save it will be on the telegram platform on the channel so let's get down to business okay and so also if you want to buy from us you can always follow us on instagram or facebook and also you can message us on on whatsapp the link is to, to our social media is below the the uh the video so also on twitter you can do the same as well and we are located in Ibadan, nigeria can buy from us if you want to be a reseller or we, we, uh, you, you can communicate with us on a social media platform so that that's that about that let's get on to business okay so what we have here now we, we are uh we are taping our cap we, we are taping our cap then after after taping we, we all know the next step whereby we we join our cap alongside with the body of the shoe we, we join it and if you don't know how to tape this is a video of how taping is being done how we tape uh, both the the uh, the shoe and and the cap the body of the shoe and the cap as well this is a video on how it is done
like i said earlier we apply gum on both the cap and the like uh, and as the design implies the uh, loafers with the cap so we already have the uh, side in which we are going to apply our cap already it's been marked out already so we we apply gum on both the cap and the and the body of the shoe and we we join together as you can see here then we move to to the next step what do you have next okay we have uh, our lining we sew the the cap area the cap aspect it's not a new thing anyways after sewing we lining as you all can see what we are doing we mark it out on our lining we mark the leather out on our lining and we apply gun we join together and here is our result here comes our result after after uh after lining we we have to sew the lining alongside with the with the with, with the leather itself and that's what we are doing here presently as you can see as you all can see so after after sewing we trim we trim out uh, we trim the excess part of the of the lining and we continue with our with our our, our work whereby we, we are going to uh uh we are going to size the, the, the sizing of the shoe before we can proceed to join the the back which is the counter area before we can proceed to do that we need to uh we, we need to size our shoe okay let, let, let's see what we have next let's see what we have next The design of the shoe is just a, a, a straight design, just a cap, uh, and it's not a, a, a it's more or less a, a, a real loafers. Let me put it that way. It's just a, a straight design that has nothing on it, no, uh, no additional design is being added on it. Just a straight design on a cup so a cup so yeah. And don't, don't don't forget the the cup shoe is a red is a ready made shoe. It's a boot shoe. You can also call it a boot shoe. So after uh, sizing our shoe, we we join. It's not a new thing. Anyways, if you don't know how it is done, you can go back to our video. You can go back to our recent video to see how it is being done. So we join and we fix our counter area. this is what we are doing after fixing the counter area with the with the lining area why we had like why, why we always put lines so that the, the joint area won't open uh won't won't be, be seen inside of the shoe one and secondly it's so that the the uh the leather lining will be the one to to suppress uh the, the leather from penny you at the back from or at the back of the of the shoe so that it won't pain you it won't peel peel off so that's why we, we, we make use of leather lining you can't use the leather for for it as well so leather lining is the best uh, leather to, to use a leather lining or, or you can call it a, a soft line okay this is our lasting process as you can see this is our lasting process so after lasting we 
we we mark out the cup so the shoe alongside with the shoe and we 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 come together and we have a we have a result okay let's see how last thing is being done let's see how it's been done let's see what we have next uh, we all know it requires a front stay anyways but the video it's uh, it's not on here you can go back to our recent video to see how a front stay is being applied and more videos coming on we can also see okay how it's been done Okay, don't forget it's a cloth material. You don't need to fight. Like I said, like I said, uh, and like I, we always say there are some materials in which you fight, and the ones you don't need, you really need to fight. Okay, here we have it. It is done already. We, we fight the the cup, so it's it requires filing. We file and we apply the gum on. Excuse me, gum on both the cup so and the the body of the shoe. And we come together come together so this is our outcome even without clean you can see how neat the, the outcome looks now check it out after clean no uh no, no rough job and everything is neat and clean everything is perfect 100 percent so thank you guys for staying tuned see you guys next time on my video on my next video don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification. And don't forget to always stay safe. Shalom.